Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London, a very unconventional backdrop to what uh, you're used to on my YouTube channel. Normally it's uh, Supercars or even my Audi R8 on a ramp, but unfortunately my car's still at SB Race Engineering. If you missed my video blogs this week, the car isn't quite fixed yet and it will be ready uh, Monday, which is tomorrow, but um, I am off with Parata della Strada, which is my clothing sponsor, to Monaco for the 2014 Parata della Strada tour that we have created out of nothing. So this video blog is going to introduce that and also uh, tell you how you can challenge me to some supercar spotting whilst I'm out in Monaco. So this video blog, although I'm standing in the middle of a field, which is quite unconventional, um, I hope is a good one and gives you guys some good information about this week, what videos are coming and what I'm planning to do whilst I'm in Monaco. So first things first, let's talk about Parata della Strada, which translate to Pirate of the Road in Italian. Parata della Strada have been my clothing sponsor for a good three years now, since I was at university, and we've been working together on videos, on uh, various designs of clothing, and um, if you remember, two years ago when I went to Monaco Top Marks in April 2012, I think it was, um, you would have seen the official supercar spotting t-shirt that I was wearing and have been wearing over the course of my first supercar and also when I picked up my Audi R8 and took it for the first drive. So we've been working together for a long time and uh, Parata della Strada have kindly sent me three um, special edition Monaco 2014 edition t-shirts which uh, I can't wait to show you guys. One of them is apparently magic uh, which requires me to jump in a swimming pool with the t-shirt on which uh, I wasn't expected to do um, but I'm sure it will make an interesting video. So Parata della Strada are awesome guys. American based company with all of their clothes manufactured in Italy so everything that I wear on all of my videos pre prior to this um, but also um, going forward is always Parata della Strada and Supercars of London are the exclusive uh, UK advocate is that the right word advocate um, brand um, which uh, shows off Parata della Strada because these guys are absolutely awesome and um, I love wearing this stuff I'm wearing it now and the cap so you guys probably recognize the logo so whilst i continue to get bitten by these ants at the bottom of my feet um, i just want to explain why why we're going to monaco with parata della strada at the moment monaco has got so many more supercars driving around than London. I hope that in August, once Ramadan ends, there's going to be a whole host of amazing supercars driving around the streets of London. But at the moment, Monaco is the place to be. So um, I'm hoping to catch some really cool action whilst I'm out there. I'm going to be video blogging the whole journey um, from start to finish, but I'll also be video blogging whilst I'm out in Monaco and hopefully giving you guys a new perception on how good Monaco is for supercars. Because the last time I went, it was about one in four, one in five cars was a Ferrari or something like that so I'm hoping to catch the real Monaco on camera next week as well as my usual video blogging uh, videos and um, the supercar spotting uh, action now here is where you guys can challenge me to uh, some supercar spotting in Monaco I've set myself a little checklist of cars that I want to see when I'm out in Monaco and it's a realistic list um, because if it was unrealistic then I'd be failing at everything like um, I can't even give an idea of an unrealistic supercar because there's so many in Monaco. But here's the list. Here's the initial list of uh, Supercars of London Tour 2014 on what cars I'm going to challenge myself to try and find in Monaco. Number one on the list is the Lamborghini Reventon, one of 20. Uh, there's a couple that are residents to Monaco, but every time I seem to go out to Monaco, I never find it. And a friend went out two weeks ago and saw it around the Casino Square, so I'm hoping to see that. Number two is um, any sort of Ferrari, LaFerrari, probably my favorite hypercar at the moment. And I've only ever seen two, one at an event and one uh, as we were filming for UK Vibe TV. If you've seen it, you'd have seen the fact that I got really excited about driving my car into London and a LaFerrari driving the other way. So that's number two, LaFerrari. Number three is a McLaren P1. 
I've only ever seen two in London, one on a UK registered plate and also another one, the yellow one on a Qatari plate. So it would be nice to capture some more of the McLaren P1 on action uh, up against the LaFerrari and 918 in this summer's competition that I hosted last week whilst I was in Portugal. The hypercar battle, Porsche 918, LaFerrari or McLaren P1. So again, the Porsche 918 on top of those two would be awesome to see. So at the moment we've got the Lamborghini Reventon, Porsche 918, LaFerrari and McLaren P1. Now, next on the list is quite an uh, unrealistic attempt, but I'm gonna try and find the Pagani Zonda 760 LH, the purple Lewis Hamilton custom Zonda that was built, I think two or three years ago, um, specifically designed to Lewis Hamilton, but it only ever gets seen on the Monaco Grand Prix weekend, which um, puts it quite unrealistic, but I'm really hoping that I can catch a glimpse of that car because I think it is my dream car, dream color, dream spec, and overall just the most insane supercar that has ever been built. So um, that's definitely going on the list, just because I know that it's going to be in Monaco at the same time as me, fingers crossed. The final two cars to enter the Supercars of London Challenge, or the Supercars of Monaco 2014 Challenge. I haven't really called the challenges anything, so if you have any ideas, let me know. The last two cars is a coin egg egg of any sort. Um, I'm not gonna get too specific on coin egg eggs because you never know what you're gonna see in Monaco. I might see none and I might see two or three different types. So definitely a coin egg egg and also a Pagani Wira. Now that pretty much covers all of the hypercars which would be um, pretty awesome if I could uh, complete the whole list. But here's where you guys can challenge me as well. If you have a specific car that you want to see on any of the Supercars of London videos whilst I'm in in Monaco then comment below and I'll try and add as many realistic comments as possible of course there's going to be some unrealistic ones but um, if you guys have any any suggestions on supercars that you want to see on supercars of London comment below whilst I'm out in Monaco anything's possible so definitely get your comment um, on what supercar you want to see on one of these video blogs my arms are hurting now so um, I'm going to head back inside, edit this video up so I can put it out to you this afternoon. I hope you guys have enjoyed me standing in the middle of a field. Um, and unfortunately, well, I'm sorry that my car isn't ready yet, but when I get back from Monaco, I'm going to be hitting the streets, hitting the tunnels and uh, letting rip on the Army Tricks exhaust system. So thank you for watching. I'm going to wade back through into my house now and uh, make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for Monaco 2014 coming next week. Cheers, guys.